Tuesday morning, really early. Uh, today, extracurricular farm activities. Uh, these are activities that I do uh, once in a while. They're part of my life. And yeah, farming is a big part of what I do during my week, but there's also other stuff. And one of it is the master class. It's the online course that I teach. And to create the master class uh, is and was five years of filming and and documenting our work at FQT Farm and, and you know my growing practices. And today I'm going with Alex uh, to do some editing. So I'll show you some of that. Alex is a big part of my life. We've been together for 10 years, I think 10 and he's been around me for a long long time a lot of the things that i do he is around it so it's going to be cool to see him behind in front of the camera for once and then uh we're going to the growers and co office because we're editing it's the final edits for the magazine and i'm the editor-in-chief of growers and co magazine it's really cool i'll show you that and so it's kind of a day where i'm not doing farming stuff but i'm doing really important stuff for me Winter growing principles. Winter growing principles. <laughs> so this is Alex. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> and cut. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> And uh, yeah, a big part of Alex's work is to be behind the scene of the master class. So a lot of filming and obviously a lot of editing. This is what we're doing now. And making you look good. <laughs> <laughs> and a lot of kidding and joking around. Um, what else? What else uh, should we say? That's it. Pictures, photos, uh, shooting, editing, having fun, learning. Learning. I'm yeah. learning a lot. I always say probably uh, my best student is him <laughs> because he knows everything about market gardening for sure. Uh, but it's fun. Uh, a lot of our work seriously is to capture what we do, but also to make it tight. And so that when people watch a module of the master class, it's not just me talking and going on and going on. There's actually a lot of action. The, the, the information is condensed. We see all of the, the different, uh, you know, times of the crop. You know, we go from seeding to harvesting, you know, to planting to harvesting to, to how we condition all in one video. So there's a lot of montage there. And uh, yeah, making sure that it's entertaining, dynamic. That's what really Alex is a pro at. Oh, jeez. You're making me blush. Where's the... Where you'll have oh. to wait another 12 months. I don't know, okay. Just doing this once, and then you'll have to wait another 24 months to do it again. <laughs> Why, you do that every two years? You have to wait every four years. It's with the Olympics. You'll have to wait another 12 months to you know, see the results of your next action. So take as much note as possible. We don't have the ultimate answers. We are all fellow uh, seekers looking for ways to better do small scale farming. And uh, I hope this was helpful for you today. And uh, stay tuned for another chapter in our amazing adventure of talking in front of the camera when you're really dead tired. We hope you've enjoyed our programming. We now leave the air wishing all our viewers a good night and a better tomorrow. C'est vraiment n'importe quoi. Mais put some music underneath there. And I think we're in we're in the TIFF festival. And the Oscar goes to Alex Shabbat. So about two years ago, I started this project, Growers & Co, uh, with, with a bunch of others. And our goal doing it was really to have a brand that would showcase what small-scale farming is and represent the values and the prideness of who we are as a group of like-minded people that are changing the world. 
and uh, I partnered with these guys from UK and they're based in Quebec City so that's where we're uh, you know that's where we're here now in Quebec and uh, we started this project and it's about it's about making tools it's about a new clothing line farmware but it's also about media making videos about small-scale farmers around the world showcasing their talent their heart and their uniqueness and it's also a magazine it's published twice uh, twice a year and it's a big responsibility for me to be the editor-in-chief of that magazine but it's one of my favorite projects of all time. I'm really passionate about this. I really like this brand. And I really think that we're doing something special and unique. So I want to show it to you today. Ha! Ah, there you go. What's up? That's it. You like my, <laughs> you like my shirt? I love it. <laughs> yeah, man. Got what, some cool stuff to show you. Waterproof, waterproof, waterproof. Yeah. You come to check the magazine? Yeah, we're doing that. Nice. Yeah, and I brought the camera. So hey. Fred, Fred, this is everyone. How's it going? So all, all is well? Good, yeah. Busy? We got, <laughs> our house is full. They're approving the magazine and yeah, yeah it's a big moment. And so Fred and I are some of the main partners behind Growers & Co. Fred is doing a lot of the work with, with, with the others. And uh, we've become friends yeah. over the year. We have went fly fishing this uh, this summer, for my first time, I caught a salmon. It was really good. Fred is like more of a professional. But, uh, <laughs> Jean Martin he brought me to the fields, and I brought him to the river. And uh, yeah, it's a great, great project, and I guess it's a perfect match. And I like to do uh, branding, and I think it's good to work together. And here, it's it's our little space that needs more space, but it's nice. I like it like that, and you can maybe. Show you yeah, around. My, you my plan, see. Fred, would be I, I'll go with Mel okay. and I'll do the ma I'll do the the magazine and perhaps if you want later you could show yeah, around sure. the, the office. Then we'll and... meet you down the hall. Okay, let's do that. So I'll bring you through the the shop. I got Huke here, growers here. And uh, I'm a passionate guy, so working with Jean Martin has been a thrill. Building the brand growers, I like to build brands, and with what I do in Huke, it's perfect. So I'll show you around our environment. There's a lot of stuff right now because we got two brands, and growers is going really good. So here is our uh, our warehouse. You can see all the growers orders that came in. So thanks everybody for encouraging us. We got Max here who's doing a great job. Every day there's some orders coming in. This is the spot. So you can see a couple of growers order here. And uh, we like to offer the, the best service and Max is always there for us. We got Louis Michel also. So here, there's a part of the hookah gear as you come through here. And uh, with growers, we added another section, but now it's growing so fast that it's full. So here we got the tools, all the quality tools you guys are, are receiving. We got some clothing and uh, we're missing a space. So we're gonna find more space when we have the time. We also have a, a store. So what I like to do is to, to build brands and I've been doing this uh, almost all my life since I'm 17. Now I'm 40, but I was in skateboarding and snowboarding. And here we have the section with Huke. So it's just a small pop-up shop. You can see all our stuff here. We all have the outdoors gear also, quality tools, quality, quality products. And uh, we added a section. So for me, since I, I had a production company and I added Huke and when I met with Jean Martin, it was the perfect match because we already have here our magazine. We're really good with design and print. So we decided to also do the growers magazine and I'll show you here. This is the grower section. So now it's fun to have the small scale format of what is eventually going to become a bigger store. So you have here our tools and in here all the clothing. 
finish the magazines, which is a great addition to growers. So you can see that for me, it's been kind of a, like a perfect match because on one end I had Fouquet and when I partnered with Jean Martin, it was easy for us to build the brand and it's a passion for me also, uh, all the agricultural world. And I'll show you also uh, the rest of the space because it's interesting because we wanted to create uh, branding, image, uh, go out on the field and we already had a team here. So I'll just show you how it works when we go out on a shoot. We start here, I'm going, uh, I'm leaving tomorrow for a big expedition. So here we're putting all the gear together. Nathan is getting everything ready. So uh, sometimes it's for growers and sometimes it's for hookay. And this is where all the magic happens. We're really good on the field. So we have everything ready here, the cameras, the CBs. I'm leaving on a, a moose hunt to get my meat for the winter. And uh, sometimes it's uh, hunting, fishing. And now with growers, we go uh, in the fields to meet with the people who are doing all the agricultural work. And uh, for us, it's key to be ready to have the great gear and the right people. So Nathan is the director of photography for both brands. And we'll move, uh, we'll move on here. We also have here the gear room. So the gear room is like, everything is here. When we're going on an expedition, we try to have uh, everything uh, ready for us. So. You can see all the different segments in the build, in our building, the warehouse, the store, the gear room. And now we're going to the fun part to meet the team. Not everybody's here today because they're on the field working, but I'll, I'll show you around. Here we have an office. There's four people here. Karen is, is down the hall. So we have sales, Felix, Karen for direction of the, the clothing brand. You have Francis, Etienne and Juliette which are not here today, but there's five people here who are working on the brand. And then here is a, a, great, a great room. I, I love this place because it's here that we receive all the samples. It's here that we do our photo shoots. So you can see on one end here, I have my summer collection, my new fall winter collection. And here it's all what's coming up uh, for growers. So there's really awesome stuff coming up. Like, nice jackets, but to make sure everything is on point, it always has to come through here. The designers look at it, we do the modifications. Jean Martin shows up here, and then we do the photo shoots here. So what I wanted to do is to be able to control uh, everything. So this place uh, is fun because this is where all the new products come in. And we go down the hall, we have our, our kitchen here where people meet up. Karen, uh, hey, Karen is here. Up? <laughs> GOP, what's up? Etienne, he's the, how do we say, the director of everything? <laughs> magazine content, so he's been working hard on the magazine. And here we got my partner. He's playing golf today. <laughs> and here is my office. So I, this is where all the, the magic happens. I have some, Jean Martin uh, told me to read some, some books. So we have uh, Deep Work, Scaling Up, which I'm gonna really need. The Power of, the power of Myth and uh, Tools of Titans. So <laughs> everything to, to help us build the brand. So when I'm here, I try to read a couple pages every time. And here we have a, uh, the editing room. And uh, we also have uh, Laurence who's working with us. So we're missing space, so sometimes we, we add <laughs> offices. But this is the, the place where all the editing happens. And uh, Nathan is working right now on a, on a shoot uh, we did for growers. And uh, I think he will have a look with uh, Jean Martin uh, as the day continues. So I like this place too as we sit down and we just watch uh, the stories of inspiring uh, people. And now we're, since we're working with the growers and hookay, it's, it's always people who uh, work hard and try to make a difference. So I'm anxious to see this one. It's a new film they're, they're putting together. And uh, 
and continue down here and this is also a great place where more magic happens it's the design clothing design so you have Anne Pierre who's working on some new designs GOP is there Gab is working on more online stuff so what are you working on now on marketing for growers. marketing for growers and uh, we have Matt Kurschein, who's the head designer for the magazine. So I think uh, you see he's actually uh, working on uh, modifications for the magazine that's coming out. Two weeks. Two weeks. Yeah. We're going to print uh, today. So uh, this is another great, uh, great place. So and now we have the, the conference room here where we have Mel and Jean Martin enjoying the approval of the magazine so you can see it's a long process and it seems like when you get it all all ready and and in your mailbox but you never understand all the work that goes behind it like this is the final print but look at all those little posted we always find a little uh, I'd, yep <laughs> I, I have not seen it oh you haven't seen it no it's it's, it's, it's insane it's insane it's saying it's true, uh, <laughs> true art. Yeah. Wow. So that's about it. I mean, this is our is our headquarters, and we're we're trying to uh, make it the best place for everybody who works here. And when Jean Martin shows up uh, with Mel, well, we're putting all our energy and trying to do great things with growers. And every day it's a new challenge, but uh, I think we have the right team and the right space. So this is it. I hope you enjoyed the, the space. So I'll, I'll have a look at, at this too because I haven't seen it myself. <laughs> Check it out. I, this I saw. It's crazy. Yeah. He placed yeah. all these like that and he didn't want... He, he, he took the real plants, did some shots, mm -hmm. but he wanted to have the perspective like this and he, he didn't want us to change nothing. So he, he delivers us like that and he says, this is it. This is it. It's like, uh, he wants the, the perspective he wanted to feel. He did it himself. Incredible. So beautiful. Every time we try to, to, we try to find a new artist to like bring it to the next level. Mm -hmm. And we think it's impossible. But this one is going to be it's gonna the be last hard, hard one. To challenge. The one yes. before, the yeah. one, I think it's just like, I it's. So that's there. the guy. This is him, Raku. Yeah. Raku. So, nice. Yeah. But just this, eh? just the way people won't understand and bef un until they see everything come together. Yeah. And yeah, and that's the thing. It's like when they look at the magazine, they don't see it, but it's at the end that you understand the full. Yeah. Well, you'll see this and you'll say, oh, well, great, uh, nice Photoshop work. No, no, he did it for real with like the real leaves. Off, offbeat Farm. You saw this them? Is the guy look at the guy. It's a fucking yeah. amazing, eh? That it's like such a great, great farm. Okay. That's that's how you're going to look, man. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, right. That's the, the, that's the lodge. That's the goal. That's the, the lodge goal. That, yeah. We have a bet, me and Fred. When, yes, I know. That we need to get back <laughs> into shape. 15th of December. Yeah. We take our shirts off and then the one that's the more cut yeah, wins. <laughs> we, 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 I, re, I realize. Yeah. No, yeah, but I've been playing hockey. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, I'll go through that. I, I think... I, so me and Mel are doing the final edits on Growers Magazine edition ed, edition number three. Um, the first two were a great success. We've really enjoyed crafting them, but they're a lot of work. They are good work, though. It's it's important work. So so what we're doing today is like this is going to print. These are the ultimate final if we need to make any changes it's like the fifth time uh, <laughs> eyes go over them uh, but still there's always little tiny stuff and um, so my role in growers magazine is to help decide which direction we're going to give it uh, somewhat help coordinate with who we're going to be uh, interviewing and who are the interviewers but mel is a big part of you know shaping all of this into form she's uh she, she's such an amazing person Yay. thank you for being there now really appreciate <laughs> amazing it amazing team so 
And uh, our, our goal by doing Growers Magazine was just to create the most amazing magazine, beautiful, mm-hmm. with, with inspiring content, and just telling the stories eh, of, of Growers. Well, telling the stories and also the importance of this work as well in terms of like how it's evolved and how it's evolving and how it's really making changes, not only for communities, but for the planet, really, and how we, we feed and will continue to feed um, our communities. So. Yeah, I think it's um, it not only inspirational, but it's it's incredibly like it's a it's a very knowledge based, like it's a book of knowledge in terms of how how other people or how farmers are making it happen in different ways. So. And you're the one that's discovering a lot of these people. Yes. And uh, what's the feeling about that? I think it's amazing. I mean, I think even just in this magazine, we have. Um, we we interview this amazing so many different or amazing different people so like Zach Bush who's uh who was a doctor became a a, a scientist and then um essentially grew to to let's say understand the important link between soil and the human microbiome so we interview him in it who talks about that important link uh we also interview Vandana Shiva who's hey, Vandana. Emma, yeah, yeah who's one of our favorite, I think, activists. Um, so we interview her about the work, amazing work that she's been doing for a number of years. Yep. Um, we also spoke to this amazing seeds woman, Rowan White, who is um, essentially collecting all these indigenous seeds, making sure that we don't lose um, all the important heritage in terms of seeds. So, um, and then growers too. So we talked to Offbeat Farm from um, Nova Scotia. Uh, they love surfing. So he's a surfer, small scale farmer. Um, so yeah, a lot of different uh, There's a people, There's a piece about Elliot. And there's Elliot two. giving his words of wisdom, Elliot Coleman being, you know, my mentor, mm-hmm. somebody that I highly respect and like and appreciate. And mm-hmm. So yeah, it's it's a lot of work, but in the end, we're doing this always thinking and imagining that when people get it at their homes, and it's only in print. Correct. So when people get it, they they kind of open it and they get a they get a feel good moment, not just because it's pretty, but it's because it's who they are. Yeah, you know, that's what we're trying to do. And they're part of a bigger picture too. A lot of times, like, like small scale farmers don't necessarily see or get access to that bigger picture because it is very fragmented in terms of like where you're located. So it's nice to kind of read about other small scale farms as well and be, know that you're part of a bigger vision um, and community too. So, yeah. Amazing. Yes. Amazing, buddy. Amazing. <laughs> you like it? Give her tiger. This is such a great picture. This is such a real picture of you. Yeah, I know. How it is at Farmer's Market. Really proud of what you're doing and who you are and big mm-hmm. smiles. And Yeah, that's Jamie and Sarah. Yeah. From Offbeat Farm. You know, so, sometimes we, we, if you stop to think about it, the work that all the farmers do when they go to Farmer's Market is the work that has changed how people mm-hmm. understand organics. Mm-hmm. It's because they're there. And it's how nice. they relate to it, too. I have to tell your life. Oh. In five minutes, who you are. Who, <laughs> your first love, your favorite color. Favorite color. Uh, what do you crit? You ready? <laughs> so, two, two other of the big, the team behind Growers. Growers Magazine is a collaboration with so many people. But the foundation is definitely Mel. And these two, Matt and Etienne. And perhaps it's in and Matt, you could just say what, what do you do with the magazine? In, in the uh, magazine? Yeah, sure. So we started the magazine two years ago. Uh, yeah, already. So mm-hmm. we uh, just try to do the best project out there in, in terms of uh, agricultural magazine. Yeah. And you, and you coordinate? Yeah. So we work with all the others and all the photographers and try to put all together to make the best magazine out there. So we and then in terms of distribution, we work as well. So it's a small project, but we aim for a big, uh, uh, big project. <laughs> it works. Yeah. And Matt? Yeah, with the help of Mel and Etienne, I'm doing graphic design and uh, art direction of this project. So mm-hmm. we receive some awesome text and stories and we put them to life mm-hmm. through graphic design. I hope you guys liked this week's episode. Uh, it was a deep dive into a part of my life, uh, visiting with Alex and Mel and Fred and the whole growers team. 
The magazine will be coming out October 28th. Um, check it out. It's going to be in French and English. If you're interested in my farming style, what you saw this morning with Alex in the masterclass, check out the work that we do at themarketgardener.com. Uh, don't forget to subscribe and like the channel. And we'll be pumping out another episode next week. If there's anything else, I will see there. Jam out. Farm on. I'm tired. It was a big day.